Hi friends, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day number two in my Lawn Fawn Week. And today I'm going to be using the stamp, uh, stamp set called Beam Me Up. It's adorable. I mean, it's absolutely adorable and so fun. And I will be completely honest with you guys. This is my second go around with this video. <laughs> I initially made this um, about a week ago, uploaded it, or I didn't get it uploaded, but I got it edited and everything. And when I realized that I didn't have, I went to go do the voiceover for the original video, I didn't have my video anymore. That's a long story. <laughs> but I was having to frantically remake this video for you guys so you could see the making of this card. I just did not want to just not put a video up. So the card that I'm actually making is not the photo that you see at the end of the video. I just wanted y'all to know that. But it's kind of funny because one of these think type of things happen. Because, um, actually, I actually like the second go-round of this card than I did the first. But that's okay. So, we are creating a galaxy, as you can probably tell. And if you've never made a galaxy background, what the thing is, is that you don't have to be neat about it. You can actually just go ham on your colors whenever you're putting your ink onto your cardstock. And I'm just putting random colors all over this little uh, section. I wanted to do something a little bit different. I didn't want to create a full entire background of a galaxy. I actually wanted a little section onto my card base. So essentially, as this card is starting out, it's being uh, it's turning into a one layer. But obviously, whenever we add all of our little um, elements to it, <clears throat> excuse me, it will not be one layer anymore. But um, I, but I wanted the background to be one layer. So um, I am adding my color and then going in with my black set. And right now it probably looks like a hot mess. But that's the joy and the beauty of doing a galaxy background because it doesn't have to look good at first. <laughs> so whenever I go ahead and add my water here, it's going to help with two things. It's going to help blend the colors a little bit together and make them, you know, a little bit cohesive. And two, it's going to create a little bit of a background of stars in a way. It's going to add that that space look, outer space look to it. So, um, so it does two purposes there. And then we're going to go ahead and add the stars of this background. So what I'm going to do is get out some white paint. This is the white paint that I have. This is the Dilutions paint from Ranger. And I essentially, I initially bought this paint specifically to do galaxy backgrounds because I didn't really have any white paint. So I'm just grabbing some onto an acrylic block, using my little paintbrush here, watering it down with some water. And then I'm going to just flicker on using my paintbrush um, and then just tapping it on the end of my fingers here. And it's going to create those stars and I'm, I'm like having fun with this. I just didn't want to actually stop. I was having too much fun adding these stars. So I continue to add stars. And then once I am completely happy with the way it looks, I'm going to set this aside to dry. So I, like I said in the beginning, I actually liked the way this galaxy turned out a little bit more than I do the one of the one that you see in the photo at the end of the video. But you know, it's all the same. It's, you know, you're never going to get the exact same whenever you create galaxies. So now I'm going to create my little planet, if you will, or ground um, portion here. And I'm just taking a scrap of white cardstock. And I'm using tea dye and brush corduroy to do this. And I'm just literally sponging this on. There's no rhyme or reason. It doesn't have to look smooth or anything like that because we want it to look kind of, kind of messy, kind of like a you know, like a planet, you know, it's got some texture onto it. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water to this as well. And then I'm going to take that same paintbrush and, and just dip it into my water bottle and then paint on some bigger spots. And then once I'm happy with all the spots that I have on here, I'm going to take it to my heat tool and it's really going to lighten this up a whole lot. And I would say that you would see it at the end of the video, but the like I keep, keep saying, the picture that you see is not the card that we're making in this video. So um, I'm going to go ahead and color my little critters in. And I'm going to put on the bottom of the screen there the colors that I did use. And <clears throat> for my little aliens, the another thing about this stamp set that's so great is that you can color these any way you want. 
It's, you know, free reign. You don't have to be particular. You can color them any color that you want. If you wanted to color them in, you know, uh, ombre look, uh, uh, rainbow look, whatever, they're aliens. I mean, they're going to be looking, they're going to look weird anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me, I keep clearing my voice here. I'm sorry. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to color these in. Some of them I'm going to add sh a little bit of shading. Some of them I'm not. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of spots here. Just to give him a little bit of texture. And I'm adding that with the YG05 marker here, and it's gonna add those lighter spots in, in on his little body. So once I'm completely happy with that, then I'm gonna move on to my other little alien. And I was I thought about, I wanted to show you a little bit up close there how that turned out. I thought about doing, a, you know, some like purples and, you know, maybe some brighter reds for these little aliens too, but um, I didn't want to go completely I didn't want to, since this is the a remake of the original card, I needed to keep it the same. But I, but for myself, I think, you know, if I was going to do this again, make the exact same card and exact same design, I think I would color the little aliens a little bit different too. So because they're a little bit the same as far as their little bit tones of green and blue, I wanted to, I should have done, I think I should have done, um, a little bit of variation of color of the aliens but there again you know that's just me being trying to be perfect and I'm not perfect and I should know better so um let's uh, so let's move on to the little um flying saucer here and a little story time on this I actually had a really fun element in my very first video and obviously it didn't happen in this one because the accident didn't happen but as I was coloring the very first uh, saucer here, um, fly, flying saucer, M one of my ink colors, it bled onto, uh, <laughs> onto the image and I had it all like, um, edited to where it was going to be really funny and slowed down really slow motion. And, you know, these sounds of, Oh no. And that kind of thing. But you know, of course it's not going to happen in this video, <laughs> but it's quite all right. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because, um, you know, sometimes whenever we mess up on something or we have little um, things that happen to our creations that don't go the way that we want, sometimes we freak out. And it's it, there's no reason to freak out. I mean, there really isn't. It's always going to be fixable one way or another. If you have to go and start over again, you just have to. But in this, in this instance, thankfully... Um, you know, just to kind of move the video along, it didn't um, bleed or anything like that. So that's good. So I've got all my craters colored and then I'm, I'm going ahead and die cut them off camera. And I just wanted to show you this reveal. It's always so satisfying to, to remove masking. So I'm removing my purple tape here. I'm enjoying this purple masking tape so far. It's really been a good one. And of course I get a little bit of smudge on my white part of the card base, not the area where it doesn't have or um, where it's got ink on it. It's got a smudge on the white part, of course. <laughs> so there's a lot of comedy errors, I guess. I have to start to laugh instead of because I can't cry. <laughs> so, but I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless and get an idea of what I was trying to go for in the uh, photo of the card. So, and so now I'm going to go ahead and work on the little planet here. I'm going to cut it down to make it obviously match in my little section, mask section here. So all I'm going to do is just mark that and with my pencil and then just cut it down with my scissors, just eyeballing it. No rhyme or, you know, it doesn't have to be completely perfect. And it's just, you're not, you know, cutting, you're just cutting a straight line is what I'm getting at. So now I'm going to go ahead and add this with my liquid glue here. And once I get that, uh, I had to trim off just a little bit more, a little sliver there. So then I'm going to just go ahead and add the liquid glue now and then adhere it to the bottom of this portion here. And it's really going to tie in with the whole look of what I'm going for because our little, um, one of our little planet, our <laughs> alien dudes, he's got to have a place to stand. <laughs> so that's why I needed to create this little ground portion. And he's going to watch his little friend fly away here in a little bit. So now I'm going to work on my sentiment on the inside of the card because I want to get that out of the way before I adhere the rest of my elements. 
So it says, have an outstanding birthday. And I just love this little um, whimsical font. It's just really fun. So I'm just going to stamp that out in my Extreme Black Ink from MFT. And I got that done, so I don't have to worry about that later. And now we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the elements to the card. So I'm just going to add the little party hat to this little bitty alien that's going to go inside, inside my little flying saucer here. So it's easier to add to me the little, the little dot of glue onto him and then put the hat on top instead of, you know, vice versa. That way um, it's not as much to fumble around because these little pieces are, these pieces are really little. So it's easier to work it that way. So now I'm going to go ahead and add him inside the spaceship, kind of add glue on the back there. And so I'm just going to set that aside to dry because I had some extra glue hanging out and I didn't want to get that onto the card anywhere. And so now I'm going to add the um, second alien that's going to stand on the little planet here and get him into place and then add the little birthday present to his little hand. And it makes it look like he's waving and also holding a present for his uh, friend that's got the little birthday. So <laughs> I think it, I think this stamp set's so fun. I, I uh, want to use it again and make other, you know, cards using the other elements. I use, I've seen a lot of cards obviously using the um, the beam, the actual beam and stuff like that. But I wanted to do something just a little bit different. So, uh, for that, I want to make this just a little bit of an extra element to this card to make it interactive. So what I've got is a mini action wobble here, and I'm going to add this to the back of my um, spaceship here. And it's going to allow me to have some of that fun movement on the card and um, make it interactive. So I'm just going to add, um, make sure that that's all lined up and then add this to the uh, main card here. And I will show you how this looks whenever he gets to go in here. And it looks like he's just, um, he's either coming down to get hit, he's waving, you know, to his friend there. And he's like, oh, it is my birthday. So I get to have a birthday present. <laughs> so that is, it turned out really cute. Um, I, I'm happy with the other card too. But in, as you can see, this card is not the same as the first, so it's quite all right. Hope you guys enjoyed anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you for day three tomorrow.